Shake it up, shake it up. You know what it is. It's another episode of Groped Up Vlogs, Groped Up Story Time. We got my man Kurt in the building. He got his little dranky poo. And we got Corey, of yeah. course. I'm back. <laughs> my man was hey, indisposed. Nice to meet you, Corey. I was indisposed last episode, but today I'm back. So we got my boy Kurt in the house. Where you where you coming from, Kurt? Oh, man. Connecticut up north. All right, I'm going to tell them what I was going to tell them. Make okay. sure it's good. Put this motherfucker so, on glass. Oh, I'm going <clears> to. <throat> so, timeline, right? It's about 2007, 2008. You know, we're like in our early 20s, crazy, stupid, doing dumb shit. Um, you know, just drinking every fucking day. Getting yes, high sir. every day. Yes, sir. And it was just, it, you know, it was the three musketeers, me, RJ, and Donnie. And if it wasn't um, us, it was either like somebody ran to my brother or some hoochie. <laughs> yeah, I met but, Donnie. But anyway, so side story before the main story. So first is the side story, right? This is how me and RJ always like fucking, you know, reconnect and, and just stay connected. I won't see this motherfucker for like three, three full years, no contact. It'll just be like MIA. And then all of a sudden he'll pop up. So this one time he pops up, he's like, yo, what's up? Let's get up and chill. I'm like, cool. I go to his pop's crib. I pull up front and I see this fucking handicapped motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker got two crutches and a broken leg. I'm like, yo, how'd you get that broken leg? He's like, yo, I was just in a bar randomly. I met some dude walking. He was drunk as fuck. And I, I couldn't let him drive. So I was like, you want me to drive? And he's like, I'm drunk as fuck. <laughs> so they start driving. All of a sudden, he comes down to a hill. He hits a fucking, literally, what was it, a wall? You hit a wall? Yeah, the brakes went out on the caddy. Fast forward, like. You know, six months later, I haven't seen him again. And he pops up. He's like, yo, what's up? Let's get up and chill. I'm like, bet. I take him out. And we go to this fucking bar, right? And he's cool. He's normal, like, in the beginning. And I'm like, all right, you know, let's have a couple drinks. He's quiet, though. Like, RJ's never quiet. Yeah. The motherfuckers, he's never quiet. So he's sitting at the bar and he's looking around. And he's, he doesn't say nothing. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. So finally, I get some drinks in him. And he gets, you know how he, he gets on that sauce? He gets saucy. He gets rowdy, rowdy, rowdy. <laughs> oh, rowdy, rowdy. Oh, rowdy, right? All of a sudden, he looks around. He's like, yo, why the fuck everybody staring at me like that? <laughs> I'm like, yo, chill, yo. You're bugging, bro. No one's staring at you, man. You're just here to have a good time. He shuts up couple minutes later he's like fucking grilling everybody he's like yo they fucking staring at me yeah. why the fuck why the fuck they staring at me like that and i'm like i don't know maybe because you look like a ghetto ass white filbert with a fucking <laughs> leg cast on and a and one crutch it was one crutch okay. anyway the night goes on and he just fucking quiet and he's all pissed off and i just started fucking ignore him. i'm like fuck it man this guy's killing my vibe He's killing the mood, bro. Even my brother said it. He's like, yo, what the fuck is up with Roddy? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, like, me me, uh, my brother talked to Roddy like like we grew up together. Like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with this dude, man? Yeah. All of a sudden, the night ends, and they let us chill at the um, after hours. And still, he's like, yo, they fucking keep staring at me. Why'd you bring <laughs> me to this place? Now he starts guilt tripping me. He starts <laughs> fucking lay, um, letting it all out. He's like, you fucking brought me to this place. I don't belong here. He's like, I stick out like a sore thumb. And I'm sitting there <laughs> drunk. Like, <laughs> he's like, I got a broken leg. You know, you know those fucking, you know, those people just guilt trip you to the end of days. He's like, look at me, you know? I'm like, look at me. Ronnie, you're bucket. Look at me. <laughs> And I'm starting to feel bad. And he's like borderline fucking panting and crying and pissed off. He's like, yo, 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 fuck this shit. 
He goes behind the bar. Where, mind you, it was like only like me, my brother, and me sitting at the bar while everyone else was at the back bar. He goes to the main bar. He gets pissed off. He's like, yo, fuck this shit. Fuck this place. Runs behind the bar. Fucking grabs the bottles. Fuck you. And he's limping running, right? <laughs> he's limping running. I just stopped, you know, I just stopped and, and like, and done in my tracks and I just started laughing. I was feeling some type of way. So I was like, fuck it, yo. So I know leave Kurt. off right there. I was like, he's like, fuck you. I don't know why he was so pissed at me either. I didn't even do anything. He was so pissed at me that I brought him there. That I that I was like, yo, let me take you out. Cause he Bro, was I stole like, like I stole mood. like three bottles. I dropped one on the ground. I just hobbled out. The bartender still couldn't catch hobbled me. Hobbled out. <laughs> yeah, that's what's so funny about it. He was going like negative two miles an hour. That nigga couldn't catch me. <laughs> Oh man. So I started so I stopped dead in my tracks and I started laughing. That's when I stopped chasing him. I was like, I just started laughing. I was like, this stupid, crazy motherfucker, man. <laughs> right? And then reality hit. The fucking owner comes up. Owner's an ex-cop. And he runs after him and he do, um he gets through the door, he doesn't see him. And he's like, What the fuck just happened? I'm like, my boy just ran out with a bunch of bottles. <laughs> he was like, Nah, I was real cool with the owner, though. Thank God. My bad, yo. My um, bad. He's like, your boy. I was like, yeah. No, no, no. It's all good. This is a funny story. You can laugh yeah. at it now. So he's like, he's your boy. I was like, yeah, he's my. He's actually my cousin. And he's like, what the fuck is wrong with him? I was like, oh, he's just not feeling right. And he got, he's fucking drunk and stupid. And he looked at me. He could tell, like, in my eyes, like, I was telling the truth. Like, you know, like, he's going through some hard times. And he really was, though. RJ was fucking, <coughs> yo, I, I, was, I was worried about him, man. Cause he was so depressed. That's why I kept pushing him. Come out, come out, come out, come out. So he runs out, and I tell the owner, I'm like, "Fuck, I feel so shitty." But you know, you can tell the owner's pissed, but he just let it go. He's just like, "Kurt, I like you. You're a nice guy. You know, you're you're, um, you're noble. You're honorable. Blah blah blah." We leave the bar. I fucking call. Where's my phone? I call RJ. I'm like, "Yo, where the fuck you at?" <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm guessing this is what it looks like. He's got the bottles in his fucking <laughs> arms curled up. He's like, yo, yo, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Yo, just get the fuck away from me. I'm like, yo, what's, what's wrong? What's your fucking problem, bro? Oh, it's your fault. I brought me to that bar. Everyone was fucking staring at me. Give me dirty looks. I got a fucking t- uh, neck tattoo. Look at me. Like, he was just fucking giving me shit. He was, I don't know what it was, but he was giving me shit. But I... But see that, like a true friend, though, that's some real shit. Yeah. <laughs> a true friend re- would realize what's going on with his friend, and just like you know, just fucking dismiss that whole thing and like realize what's re- what's deeper in those layers. So oh, yeah, he's he's sitting in the back of fucking uh, of a restaurant. I can hear the um the cooler generator going buzzing, <laughs> and he's like, "Yo, fuck, yo, just leave me, just leave me." <laughs> I'm like, "Yo, where the fuck you at?" He's like, yo, you ain't gonna find me. <laughs> you ain't gonna find me, girl. Just fucking go. <laughs> I'm like, yo, Ar- I'm like, RJ, where you at? You ain't finding me, bro. You're not gonna find me. You're not gonna find me. <laughs> so, all right, yo, dude, it gets even better, man. I felt bad. I was like, shit, he's going through some things. He just stole some shit. He's in the fucking woods slash. It was uh, snowing, bro. Restaurant. It was snowing. Snowing. Bro. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. And he's limping. Mind you, he's limping with like three bottles. <laughs> yeah. So I let it go, and I kept, and I stayed up a couple hours trying to hit him up. He fucking, he finally like turned his phone off or something. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to him, what, like maybe the next day or the next couple of days. He like ignored me for like a, a minute. And I finally talked to him. He's like, you know how you know how your boy fucked up, but he can't like ignore you. So he picks up the phone. He's like, what's up, man? <laughs> he felt guilty, but he's like, I can't ignore this. What's up, man? Like he's about to see what you're about to say, right? Like, yo, what the fuck? Uh, yo, what was that all about? You know, he's like, no, man. 
I just felt like doing it. <laughs> I just felt like doing it. Right? Remember you saying that? I just felt yeah. like doing it. Yeah. <laughs> I just felt like doing it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. So this is drunk and pissed off. I mean, like, pissed off at the world, RJ. <laughs> like, I remember picking him up and, and like, every night, you know, he would literally, you know, religiously walk out the door. Fuck you, Dad. I'm fucking going out. <laughs> I'm <in> the door. <laughs> I don't care if I got a broken leg. <laughs> All right. So we started talking. And I'm like, yo, like, what did you do? Like, what the fuck is that all about? He's like, oh, I just fucking, I just did it. I felt like it, right? I was like, yo, where'd you leave the bottles? He's like, <laughs> I'm like, where'd you leave the bottles? He's like, you ain't going to find him. <laughs> you know, I'm like, God, he's still hiding in the bottles. He's like, you ain't going to find him, bro. I just thought about when he was like, you ain't going to find me. <laughs> but I, I guess he left them behind like a CVS or something or like a, uh, or maybe the back of the restaurant. And he's like, yeah, man, I fucking left them there. And he's like, he's like, yo, we got to go back there and pick them up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, you want us to go back and pick up those stolen bottles you ran out the bar? But <clears throat> he's like, yo, that's fucking liquor, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. And I think uh I don't think we ever went, but yeah, I couldn't you know, I couldn't fucking believe that shit. Yeah, bro. Shit. And I after but it. you know what was weird? Yeah, you know what was weird, right? After he did that, he like he started to come around a little bit more because when when RJ broke his leg, bro, I, I could understand why he was like MIA because you know, he was fucking limping. So many things could like run through your head. Like, am I going to walk right? You know, I, I remember you we were like stretching out your leg like every other day. Yeah, yeah. And, and my, uh, in my basement, I was like, yo, you got to do it, RJ. He's like, I know, but I want to fucking do it. And I forced him to fucking stretch his leg, bro. I was like, yo, that shit's going to seize up. And, yo, when I tell you this dude fucking scream like a little bitch, he's like, yeah, <laughs> my boy. I fucking stretch his leg and he's screaming. And we did it for like a couple of weeks. And then you started to walk better too. Well, you started walking a little bit better. Yeah, I broke my femur, bro. That shit was fucked up. Yeah, I know. That's that, yeah, you're that's crazy still to break. fucked up from the last accident, too. Yep. Well, he could have died. He could have died. Then I got another that, life threatening car wreck. So, you know, I didn't learn. He fucking, he limps. He like, he's got a pimp walk all the time. Now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, because of that. Yeah, because he, right, right. Whole, he shattered his whole heel and everything. Like it's yeah. never gonna be right again. Yeah, yeah, I, yo, I got, a, I got, a, I got a um a quick side, uh, quick story. Mind you, every night we used to drink. I mean, religiously, I would be cooking at the restaurant. They would, him and Donnie would show up drunk as shit already, like storm <laughs> through the fucking kitchen like they owned the place, <laughs> and everyone's like, "Yo, who the fuck are these people?" <laughs> Yo, make me something to eat, though. Yo, make me like, yo, get that kitchen popping, Kurt, a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yo, man, yo, I'm fucking hungry, yo. Make some shit. You ain't, you can't cook. You can't cook. Yo, cook me some shit. <laughs> <laughs> cook, cook me some shit. Sorry, cook him some shit. I'm like, yo, just fucking leave, bro. Like, yeah, I don't know how he tried, he tried me with that same shit when I was working at McDonald's. He's like, bro, you ain't running shit. And I had to do the same shit. <laughs> Yeah, he, he antagonizes Yo. everything, bro. He tries to get people in trouble. For real. Like, this is the only motherfucker, I, I kid you not, besides, no, not even my brothers. RJ and maybe one other person could fucking do the shit he did and not me, like, whoop his ass and fucking get mad and, like, I mean, that's my and dog, just fucking. Bro. Yo, I can't. I There's, oh, my boy Dave. But um, RJ is like the only motherfucker I can't fucking like, like physically fight with. I we I can verbally either, we bro. I can't we 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 verbally fought so many times. Oh my god! Yo, About we're dumb running running out of we time, haven't bro. even got that. We haven't even got that far. You heard? But, like, oh, we're running out of time. He does do know shit that, that I see only get people fight minutes. with. Him, bro. I, I I can see. It. If it right, cuts so, off, right, it cuts so off. Get story the story. About, um, RJ. So. This is drunk fucking RJ, just like belligerent. I mean, belligerent. He's not angry or or happy. He's just belligerent. 
So we went to McDonald's. I threw up all over fucking Donnie's uh, Jag. Yeah, he was like, you <laughs> got what, it, wasn't Jag, it was Altima. So anyway, we're sitting in the parking lot, and the, uh, you know those street sweepers? You know, yeah. Sorry, you know those street sweepers? This motherfucker yep, was getting yep. real close, and, and, and I guess RJ was like really cross or fo- just pissed off. He takes the fucking uh, McDonald's cup full of juice or soda, and he throws. <laughs> he had it a lit cigarette in his in- mouth. Yeah, oh, <laughs> <laughs> he had a lit, lit cigarette. You could tell he was fucking with us because every time he drove by, he kind of did like, <laughs> <Yeah>. right? <laughs> he he make that face. RJ threw the fucking cup perfectly in, like, uh, into the window. Shit open, busted open, splashed everywhere. Threw, put his cigarette and, out. And fucking, uh, <laughs> put a cigarette out. And he, and fucking Donnie just drove off. And yeah. just fucking started dying. <laughs> I hit the street sweeper right in the face with a high C, bro. So what did you, what did you learn with all this stuff with RJ? If we're going to drink... <laughs> Is gonna be in a fucking controlled environment <laughs> with with with, lock, with locked doors or or one door. No more locked doors. <laughs> hey, I appreciate you doing story time tonight, man. What yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, man. Well, All right, y'all. Appreciate the call. Good night. Good night, bro. All good right, night, man. Court. Y'all, nice y'all to meet good you. Good night, man. man. Good night, bro.